G'day, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I now have the passenger door off and have been uh, taking the paint off around the uh, door jams and all that. But we have some issues. If you remember in the uh, previous video of me removing the front guard, when I pulled the guard off, we had some little bit of rust issues here. Well, it turns out it's not good. If I just get in closer, we have rust holes. So we're gonna have to repair that. So the plan was not to show you any of this because I have a video of it on the other side, but this video, we will be repairing that sill. Righto. Uh, we're back to have a look at this sill. I have depainted all of the door frames. So now it's time to tackle this. Uh, it's not too bad there around there. It's more this front side here where that edge of that guard was uh, bolted on and uh, dirt and grime just got in there. So it's probably gonna be all right there, but uh, we're gonna have to cut out probably that section there and probably most of that section there anyway. So we'll get cutting and uh, we'll see how bad it is. Hopefully behind there, it's not bad. But we'll see when we get there. It's spot welded underneath, that's why the thing won't come off. Crazy. But at least it looks good in there. That's a plus, I guess. I guess uh, we're gonna have to drill out those uh, spot welds, aren't I? I've gotta find them, I can't see them. I wanted to try and get it off to keep the shape so then I can easily remake the uh, patch panel, but uh, that's not going to work, is it? Haha, -ha, success! Looking at the back of that, it's not that bad. So it uh, really didn't go through too much. It's just those little holes, but uh, it's good that we're replacing it anyway, I guess. Here's a look inside. It's got uh, paint in there, so that's helped it. There's a little bit of uh, surface rust there and surface rust on there. We'll clean that up and get that in some sort of primer so it uh, doesn't happen again after I clean up this mess here. Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard of a job to do. Okay, so I've traced out the uh, rusty piece onto a bit of metal or steel or whatever you want to call it. Now we'll cut that out and uh, hopefully it'll fit in that hole and we'll shape it and get it buzzed in but first before we put that in I did notice in here that uh, when I was cutting that piece out I did cut through that bit so we're gonna have to weld that hole up or that cut up first before we 
put the patch panel in. So I'm going to cut this out and go from there. There we have it. That is kind of a replica to that, but without that chunky bit missing. Now I've put that little cut in there because when I test fit the panel on the car, that's sticking a little high. So once I've got it tacked in, I will tap that down and then we'll weld up that uh, little cut. But this is how it looks on the vehicle. I'll tell you what, it's damn hot today. It's damn hot. See? That goes in like that. And then that little bit there just sticks out because we've got the two bends. So once it's tacked, I'll just tap, tap, tap a roo there and there. That'll fold that in and then we can zip up that bit and should be pretty close fit to uh, original, I reckon. But first, I need to weld that up, prime that prime the back of that and then we can put it in okay looking there I've welded up that uh, cut that I went too far in uh, no it doesn't look pretty but uh, it'll never be seen once that patch is put on I just uh, had to grind it back so the patch would fit on properly still got to clean up some of those dags but that's just about ready to prime prime the back of the patch panel and get it in let's Get this sucker burned in. So that is now 
buzzed in and ground back. Uh, that section there, that was where the pitting was. And we blew two holes in, so it's not too thin. So I think I'm gonna leave that alone. But I do have a hole that's popped up here in the sill, which I'm gonna put a tiny bit of weld in, make it larger, and then fill it with weld. So then that uh, will never resurface again. But uh, after that, it's probably uh, etch prime time. And that'll probably be almost it for this repair. But something will pop up, we'll see how we go. Well, that went exactly to plan. The first little bit of weld that hit on it turned into about five times the size of the hole, but uh, I've put a nice blob of weld. I'll grind it down and see what it looks like. There we have it, welded and ground, and a minute film of filler will hide that never to be seen ever ever again okay so i'm working along and uh you just see that little mark there that's a little rust hole so i'm gonna buzz it up and uh we'll fix that before we get it in uh edge prime well that welded up all right now i'll grind it back and continue on. There we have it. One little tiny rust hole welded up. Grind through, welded up, grind through, welded up. Perfect. All right, here's where I'm up to. Uh, even though this will never be seen again once the guard's on, I still want it to look nice. So that little rust hole that I had, I just put a bit of filler on that and uh, a bit of filler on the pitting that was above where we did the repair section and uh, just a little tiny bit of filler there to make it uh, nice and shapely. But so once I've got some uh, edge prime on that, I'm hoping it uh, looks like I've never been there. So I'll get some on and see how it goes. All right, I'll just quickly mask that off slash put cardboard. And I'm going to edge prime these door sills and Hopefully that will be job done. And there we have it, etch primed and ready to move on to the next job. So just come down and have a look at our repair section. That looks pretty dandy. Uh, that'll about do it for this video. So I would like to say thanks for watching. Join me next time. Ciao, ciao.